Hello world -o. this is Wolfstar Games, it's Anton, and welcome back to more The Quarry. So, we are going to hop right into it this time. I don't really have too much to say of what happened last time, other than uh, what happened with uh, Ryan, with him uh, pretty much sacrificing himself. At least that's how I want to look at it. And I gotta say, uh, for someone who's been kind of in the background... I mean, I feel like he's been kind of in the background. He has really come forward as the leader of the group. And for, for what it's worth, I'd say he's really stepped up to the plate. Anywho... We are getting right into this here. So yeah, this happened last time. Ryan removed the knife from his body, worsening his bleeding. And then Ryan chose to accept Laura's offer to bite him. His sacrifice. And I respect that kind of decision. And now we are Dylan at the scrapyard. These guys never throw anything out, huh? So, do you want to give me some direction on what we're looking for specifically? Well, most of these cars look like they've already been stripped apart. It's just empty frames and chassis, which doesn't help us much. Okay, so we're looking for... engines? Well, anything relatively intact. Got it. To drive out of here? Oh man, I feel like there could be a bunch of things that I can look around here at, like right here. Looks like we got our work cut out for us, huh? Yeah. Try not to make too much noise. Oh, right. Fuck. Sorry, Caitlin. <laughs> Anything by you? Not yet. Keep looking. Nothing? Nothing. Okay. Looking over here. Yay, nay. Nothing in the corner. Alright. Now well, let's just mosey along, see what we can find here. I really hate that the camera is so close to the character's backs in so whoop in some situations. Motion light, hello. Where exactly do we need to go aside from like the obvious? Like maybe right here would be the obvious, but let's see if there's anything for us. Like in the garage here. Oh, oh, oh. Tools? Is that a button? Ah. <sighs> How are we going to end up in a documentary? <laughs> no. Shut up. Come on, let's go. What, like a murder documentary? It's like, I would not want to be a part of a murder documentary, thank you very much. You know, of course that gate would be, like, powered and not be able to open by hand. See if there's anything upstairs here. Ugh, so slow going upstairs, I hate it. 
What's this? Full moon. These sons of bitches had it all planned out. I mean, we're dealing with werewolves. The werewolves turn on when there's a full moon out. August. No, what is she sitting on? I can't tell what she's sitting on. It's holding a wrench. Is that supposed to be like a saw blade behind her? What does that say? Oh, show text. Fact of the month, the average car contains over 30,000 unique parts. 30,000? That is a lot. I mean, I don't really know cars personally. Like, the how one works on, from the inside out. I just know how to drive one. It's like, I, I am not a car buff. August 22nd, full moon. Isn't that today? Anything down here for me? Yes, there is. Huh, scrapyard note. The scrawled request to keep something off the books is a little dodgy to say the least. There must be something here they don't want anyone to know about. Hmm. SUV body damage. Who's T? Mm. Travis. Looks like these guys were cooking the books a little. <sighs> dodgy. You said it. <laughs> Very dodgy. Huh. Registered ADFF six four at uh, six seven four SUV body damage. Keep this off the books and out of the way. T. Wait. Is that uh, Laura and Max's car? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, let's go through here. Oh, you got kind of a tunnel here. Kind of. Huh. I I feel like that would be like the way to go. So let's check around this side first. I have a lot of motion lights here. I feel like I could get kind of lost in here. Kind of. Ooh. Ah! Sorry, that was scary. A little bit melodramatic there. That's so annoying. We are being hunted by literal monsters and this is what bothers you? Yeah, both are bad. <laughs> I mean, if that's what gets under his skin, then fair enough, I guess. Wait, is this just back to the other side here? Yes, okay. So it just kind of loops around. All right. Hmm. 
God, there's like a whole bunch of nothing so far. Oh, I wonder what's up the stairs here. There's like another level to this place? Kind of odd for a scrapyard, isn't it? Then again, I've never really been to a scrapyard. Oh, hello, Judgment. Judgment. Judgment Day is upon us! Uh, only if it's involving Terminators. <laughs> that's why you'd expect from that's what you'd expect from this card, isn't it? Though perhaps in this case it's simpler than that. Perhaps one's own judgment, a snap decision to make, can save them from their own personal day of reckoning. Every step matters, every decision tipping the balance one way or the other. Take your time, think, and maybe survive. Well, I've, that's what I've been trying to do this whole time. I'm still upset about Jacob. A and Constance, for that matter. I, uh, <laughs> I, it still gets me that I wound up blowing her face off. I hear something metallic squeaking. Look. Hmm. Wait. Isn't that Max and Laura's car? So, you ever operated a crane before? Uh, no. I actually used to be pretty, pretty good at the claw game at my local arcade. The kids used to call me the grabber. No, no, uh-uh. Oh, I hear that, yeah. Look, why don't you see if you can lower it down so I can take a look under the hood? The grabber? That the... Out of context? That could be taken for... <laughs> Uh, very, uh, dirty-like. Uh, can I have the gun or watch my back? Um, seeing that you only have one hand to work with, can you even really, uh, use the gun very effectively? Huh? <laughs> um, watch my back. Sure, yeah, sure thing. Um... Just, uh, watch my back, yeah? Yeah. It's like, I trust Caitlyn. Let's do this. Alright. Looks like somebody's mom never taught them how to clean up after themselves. <laughs> That sounds like me, okay, honestly. Let's see what we're working with. All right, not too complicated. And welcome back, Grabber. Now you're away, will you? What the hell is going on? My bad. Uh oh. Ah, shit. Okay. Yeah, turn off the music. All right. Here goes nothing. That is Max and Laura's car, isn't it? Slow and easy. You did it! Good work, yeah. Dylan. Uh, I think I found my calling. <laughs> About time! <laughs> well, maybe we can see if we can... Try and get this thing running. <gasps> Score.
Oh no. Oh, we have company. No. Oh god. Uh, Warren Caitlin. Shit. Shit. Um. Uh. There's, some, there's something coming! What? Hide! Okay, get in the car, close the door. Ah! God dang it! Oh god! Caitlin! <laughs> Good work, good work. I'm glad I left him with the gun. Dylan, get the damn werewolf on the damn car! What do you want me to do? Uh, oh god. Oh fuck. Hurry the fuck up! Uh, uh, slam car, slam car. <sighs> it's like, hold on, Caitlin. Oh god. Oh no! I told you to hang on, come on! No! Dylan, help! Dylan, come on! Help, please! Dylan! Come on, you rusty. I'm a f I... I have the feeling that if I do this button mash, that that's going to cause the car to fall and it will crush Caitlyn. That's what I'm worried is going to happen. So maybe I don't want to do that? I don't know. But that's what I'm worried of what would happen if I did this button mash. So I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, I honestly am not sure what to do here. If I want to do the... If I want to do the button mash or not. What updated here? The note is referring to Max's car. It, it is their car. Travis wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone came looking for them. Which makes perfect sense. Uh, uh, I'll risk it. Oh, yes. Now! Do it, do it, do it. Oh! Crunch. <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Now, get out of there. Leave before the werewolf comes to, because I have a feeling that's not that didn't kill it. Dylan, thank you. You actually saved my life for realsies. You're welcome. Yeah, no, no sweat. I just can't wait to see who they choose. What? What to play me in the movie about how brave I am? Don't push it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so much for our brilliant escape plan. Okay, back to the lodge. Are you nuts? <laughs> Better than being out in the open. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Before the werewolf comes to. Path updated. So, let's see, uh, team building updated. Okay. Okay. They went to the scrapyard. Caitlin and Dylan worked together to escape the scrap scrapyard. Escape the scrapyard. <laughs> yeah, that's almost kind of like a tongue twister. <sighs> I'm so, I'm so glad that Caitlin wasn't under the car. Huh. <sighs> Huge sigh of relief there. Oh my god. That was kind of tense. Oh 
back at the storm shelter. We can't just sit here. Why not? Dylan said it's safe here. Well, yeah, I just... I don't want to be waiting around. But that's literally all we need to do. Just wait until morning, right? Until dawn. Fine. But we need protection. Go see what you can find. It's better than just sitting around. <laughs> well, uh, let's see here. Um, it's kind of dark down here. Then again, my ring light doesn't help very much because it, because it is kind of blinding. I mean, it's... Oh, hello. Who is that? I mean, it's... It's not uh, Constance. I know that. It, it looks like it's a woman. is isn't the fortune teller, is it? <gasps> is the... Is the fortune teller a spirit? Have we been talking to a spirit this whole time? I mean, that could very well be a possibility, I think. It's like werewolves and spirits, maybe. Um, do we dare turn on the lights? Surveillance room. Hmm. Huh. That one's missing. Looks like the main fuse is gone. That's why there's no power. Why would somebody do that? Hello? What is it? Silver shells. How'd they get down here? The hunter must have dropped them. This is probably how he got upstairs and attacked Caitlin. These fucking guys are everywhere. <sighs> huh. So what exactly updated here? That team building again. Abigail and Emma found silver shells in the storm shelter. I mean, the the only one we know for sure had that who had the silver shells was Travis back at the police station. Uh, uh, unless the hunters are using silver shells, sh ah, <laughs> silver shells but they wouldn't kill their own family right so that's a little confusing it, hmm Uh, man, I, I really wish Abigail had a light here. It's like, take out your phone, Abigail, and use it as a flashlight. Turn on your flashlight app. <laughs> I can't see where I'm going. Oh, 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 oh. The, the hero fit. My poor boy, do you see what they did to us? How they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Oh. Talking about the a fire at the... Idea, what was it like a like a fair or like a circus or what was it a fair circus? I can't remember now. Um, stupid children, 
but little Silas. My little white wolf. Okay, Silas is the wolf boy. Who's Ian then? He must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? So that... So this Silas, is he supposed to be like the uh, son of like the fortune teller? Because I, I, I feel like the fortune teller is playing a bigger role than she appears to be playing. Man. Even though I've missed a number of tarot cards, I feel like I've done really well finding them. Oh, what? It's right here. Claw marks. Oh, fuck. Hmm. I mean, if I examine here, won't we just be... We, uh, we, we won't go outside if I press X here. Right? I mean, b before I even decide to click on that, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything down here. Oh, hey, hey, hey. It's the it's the ladder that leads up to that trap door in Chris's office. And Dylan, when I decided to have him come down here, loosened the what was it? The bottom rung or was it the second to bottom I think it was the bottom rung what'd you find oh I'm just checking out this ladder is that a tiny little door up there uh it's called a yeah. trap door Emma. we'll open it up why we don't know what's up there. Exactly. Have you not been paying attention, like, at all? Okay, what I mean is, it might be good for us to have an escape route. You know, we don't know what's up there. It, it, the lodge, there, there also could be a, a way for us to defend ourselves. Okay. Guess that makes sense. Yeah, a little bit. Go for with one of those rungs. <laughs> you all right? Oh, well, yeah. Okay, yeah. that was that was close. That was the uh, loosened rung that came free, wasn't it? Yeah. Watch your step. <laughs> The ladder rung broke when Abigail climbed up. Yep. So is it a good thing that I discovered that as Abigail? Or not? I'm not entirely sure.
Well, they ain't getting through there in a hurry. Maybe. <sighs> this place is huge. I might need to rest a bit. You'll feel better soon. Cool. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. What are you doing? Stop it. <laughs> Do you smell that? No. Mm, what do you smell? Never mind. Let's just find another way down. A way to Chris Hackett. Or just a way out, maybe. I'm done being chased and stabbed. I, I don't sure. blame you. And another way out. Fine. All right. And what do we have here? What am I looking at? Oh, syringes. Huh. What's that? Is that more? Proof we're on the right track. Stay close. Huh. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. <laughs> huh. More of the same stuff that Travis used to knock her out, and she did the same back to him. More of that stuff. A nice old chair. It's a shame that it's just kind of collecting dust here. Why can't I walk through here? What the heck? Oh. What was that? I think. It's I think up. we found Chris Hackett. I wasn't expecting that. Nice try, Bobby. Hey! Do do I dare? Oh god. Oh, that's a little gnarly. Um yeah. I hesitated. Here's a life. <laughs> wow. That was a pretty gnarly death. Get the gun again. Hey! Oh, headshot. Ooh. Whoa. This is covered in blood.
Well. Thanks. For, um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. <laughs> so, what now? Everyone's back to normal? I don't think so. What? Oh. You think this is over? This isn't over. I don't understand Chris is dead. One moment. Plug in my controller here since my battery's low. And while I'm on this screen, look at my updated uh, stuff here. Let's see. Uh, bloodied collar. Now the one that said Ian at the beginning of the game. Okay, so the third one is unlocked, but, but the second one is still locked. Chris Hackett killed the camp mascot on the night Laura and Max were kidnapped. When hiding in the storm shelter, he devoured Ian in an attempt to satiate his appetite. It didn't work. The camp mascot. Okay, so since I got the third one, how do I? Uh, how in the world do I unlock the second one? Um, I, I'm missing a vital clue into this uh, whole Ian plot line. Camp mascot. Is it like a dog? Huh. Let's see, the white whale updated. Ryan shot Chris Hackett with silver, causing his line of infection. Well, if I didn't, Ryan would be dead. So, I am sorry, Chris. Ryan survived the ordeal at the Hackett house. Team building updated as well. And Abigail found their way into the lodge. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'm not sure. A pound of flesh updated as well. Ryan was saved from blood loss. That's good. Oh. Oh, Chris wasn't the first. I figured. That's not possible. I mean, Chris had to have been bitten by the original wolf, the alpha wolf, as I've been putting it. And that alpha wolf has to be Silas. It's like the white wolf. Where is he? Caleb. Kaylee. The girl you killed? Her brother. What? <sighs> Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. We've been tracking him for years. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A feral albino child, giant white wolf. Hey, no. White wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, let him go! The At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense. Uh, he must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We... We can help those who are still alive. In what world would I help you? That That is really mean to say. Or why should I trust you? I mean... It's... It really is like a family curse thing going on here. So it's... Caleb was the first one to be bitten in their family, and then he passed it on to his sister and his dad. Oh, man. I, I really feel bad for the Hackett family. If it wasn't for Silas biting Caleb in the first place, Their whole, like, family w w I apologize for, uh, fireworks going off, but, you know, it is close to, uh, the 4th of July, so... So for any fireworks that are going off in the background here, it, it is what it is. Anyway, it, it's like this whole family became like doomed as a result of Silas biting Caleb. And I feel bad for them in that respect. I mean, they, I mean, that, that picture that we saw in, in the beginning of the game on Chris's desk. They seemed like a really happy, loving family. And it just got torn to shreds because of Silas. <sighs> so I, I feel like I, I feel like we can trust Travis at this point. Cause all they've been trying to do is you know, trying to keep their family safe and others safe from the curse of the werewolf. So, I don't know. I, I feel like we can actually trust him. He seems pretty genuine right here. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone, uh, who's still alive anyway. Right. Okay, okay, so... Where would we even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. Can, can someone please get me some fucking clothes? <laughs> it's like, so I don't have to go around in my underwear? <laughs> uh. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family, and you failed. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just look to the future, shall we? I really am suspecting now that the fortune teller here is Silas's mother this this game is so interesting 
Caleb infected both his father and his sister six years ago, sometime after this photo was taken. And now he's the only one left alive. The Hackett's leave supplies for when their infected family members turn back at dawn after a full moon. The Hackett's killed these animals with silver after they survived werewolf bites and became infected. There's no telling what this infection would do to non-humans, but it seems the Hackett's didn't want to find out. Very interesting. I mean... The werewolf mythos revolves around people turning into werewolves, not other animals turning into other werewolves. So that that's an that's an interesting thing to think about. What a were what the, a werewolf's bite would do to other animals. I've never thought of that before. It's very interesting to think about. And I've never I've never seen any like movie that has delved into that kind of uh, thought process. And I've and I've seen a number of werewolf movies and not one of them not one of them has uh you know gone into that possibility. Travis decided to work with Laura to find Silas. And the white whale. Laura, Travis, and Ryan decided to work together to find Silas. Okay. Just basically the same thing as the other one. <laughs> the sun. The vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned. A fate deserved. Likely. But he may have his uses. Though he won't forgive. He won't forget. The Hierophant. Where did you find this? Where did you find it? This shouldn't be here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what that did to us? Eliza. Is that her name? No. <laughs> What have they done? What have they done? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Silas the dog boy. Oh, God, no. Silas, my boy! Oh, oh. Ah! Oh. oh! Wasn't expecting an explosion. Not really. I mean, yeah, everything's on fire. Oh, no. Don't get too close there. Then again, she's... She's dead, right? 
Oh my god. <gasps> oh. <gasps> really, uh, <sighs> dodged the bullet there. Whew. Interesting that I'm playing as her, Eliza. Sheriff's badge. That's the is that the sheriff then? I'm still a little confused of what the deal is with the blood all over the face and body. Mommy's coming, Silas. Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 Ooh. So if I had not gotten the Hierophant tarot card, would I not get this scene? what they did to us. How oh, they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon, they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid children. Little silence. My little white wolf. You must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember how much I've done for you? Hmm. Uh, I'm a, all of a sudden a Max. I haven't actually played as Max. Then, and then again, we haven't had the opportunity to, to play as him. Oh man, that, that was really interesting with, I, I guess her name is Eliza. So, so now we know what happened to Travis's predecessor, the old sheriff. It's like he he got he, he got burned to death. What? So that begs the question: Did the sheriff have something to do with the uh, fire outbreak there? Hmm. I really wonder that. Or, 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 or did he come to try and stop the fire from happening and was unsuccessful? Oh man, th this game has gotten even more interesting. J just when I thought that this game wouldn't throw any more punches, it gives me that scene. Oh man. It's really got my brain a thinking. Bricks and mortar. You okay, Max? Oh man. Whoa! What? What the fuck? 
Why am I on top of a fucking tree? <laughs> Laura! Back, back to normal. At least. How the hell am I gonna get down? Well, that's one way. Asked an answer. Hack it's for you, buddy. Oh, wait. I just realized. I just realized. The werewolf locked up behind the uh, gate at the at the Hackett Mansion has to be Caleb. Has to be. It's like I was trying to think if that would have been Chris or Caleb. But since we just got with uh, since we, uh, since with what we just got with that werewolf with Ryan shooting it that that was Chris the one locked up down in the down in the uh, cellar has to be Caleb where the hell are my clothes you gotta be kidding me What's wrong, Max? Okay. <laughs> I'm Laura. Oh my god. <laughs> Max is wearing. <laughs> Max is wearing Emma's clothes, isn't he? That is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, it works. I'm surprised he fits into them. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, what's this? Matches? Told we should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. Yeah. I mean, honestly, he's kind of rocking this outfit, if you ask me. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look bad on him. Not really. It's just... It's just different. Though, the clothes do look pretty tight on him. <laughs> Music is very atmospheric right now. I really like it. It's like it's, it's kind of calming. That's kind of weird to say about kind of spooky music, but that that's my impression of it. I so want Max to run into Emma. <laughs> Her reaction would be freaking priceless <laughs> to him wearing her clothes. She would be like, why the hell are you wearing my clothes? Yeah, it's like, why not wear it? <laughs> it's like, let's complete the ensemble. So, ensemble. <laughs> like, 
Got clothes, got a hat. We're all good. <laughs> he's, he just needs some shoes. I don't think he's wearing shoes. Yeah, he's not wearing shoes. Stay or swim to shore? I mean... Why would I stay? Swim to shore. Okay. This better have a great fucking ending. <laughs> Where'd the hat go? I wasn't expecting that! He gets a- Oh my god. <laughs> well, there's my answer of why I would want to stay. <laughs> oh my god. Well, here goes my last life, then. Okay, so... I guess I'll have him stay. I guess this is this this it. This is it. I guess this is the safe this place for him right now. The table, help me. I'm actually kind of surprised that he can pick that up with one hand. Okay. Well, can't get much worse than it already is, right? Great. Just like the cartoons. It's been what? off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right, right. Oh, that's right. Oh, we should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And since they uh, since they don't like water, Max is completely safe on that island. The werewolves wouldn't be able to get to him. Uh, I should have I should have realized that before I had him swim the shore. Oh God. I feel like I just wasted a life now. Eh, well, say la vie. And die of hypothermia? No. Alright, well, we're good now. <laughs> Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here, and they're coming back the first chance they get. Yeah. Great news, okay. Alright, we gotta get a vantage point. I don't think we've been in this room. Oh, it's the kitchen. I'm sworn that I just saw a prompt. Or was I just imagining it? Oh, right here. What do we got here? this little bag oh it's it's Abigail's backpack her little bat bat pack there we go bat pack 
It's like, where, where's Robin to make a to, to make a holy joke? Oh, it's the library? Or study? It's like, isn't there a flashlight on this gun? She should be using this flashlight to look to look around more efficiently. It's like seriously, the lack of using like any kind of light to look around is kind of kind of a little I don't know annoying <laughs> I mean sure it's a horror game it should be dark but still there we go it's like why was I having such difficulty trying to go up the stairs I have not been up here yet. I, although technically I have, but not in like exa in examining mode. How long has this guy been here? Is that Septimus Hackett? Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett. Uh, ha what's that word there? I can't quite read it because of that light. Holds? Holds pride of place on the lodge's chimney column. Oh, the miner's lunchbox updated again. Septimus Hackett was running the show when the Hackett's fortunes started to crumble. He was responsible for closing down the quarry all those years ago after falling on hard times. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was before the times of cameras. Uh, keep looking or prepare for attack. Honestly, I want to keep looking. Keep looking. Maybe I should keep looking. I mean, I have to look for any clues. Especially since I haven't been up here in exploration mode. Can't, exa I can't examine this one. So, is... I wonder if that's supposed to be like... Chris and Travis's parents. Actually, wait. I think it is. It kind of looks like them, doesn't it? Just, of course, just younger. Who's the oldest? Who's the oldest of the three boys? Chris, Travis, or Bobby? I feel like Chris is the oldest. And I feel like Bobby's the youngest. Examine the carpet? Oh, there's another set of stairs there. What am I looking at here exactly? Oh, something nice on the carpet. Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? That's exactly Who? it. The big dude from earlier, when you and Ryan went to the radio hut. Mr. H's brother, I guess? Right. Hmm. 
He might want that back. So, Bobby served? Hmm. But a bunch of bunk beds. Jeez, MC really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Camp letter. Chris Hackett is asking campers' parents for additional donations to help with lodge renovation costs. Isn't that what camp these are for? What else would that money be? What else would that money be going? Where else? I was completely reading that wrong. <laughs> Well, I actually want to read the letter, thank you very much. Letter to parents. Dear parents and guardians, when my mother and father founded Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp in 1953, their vision was to create a space where children from across the nation could experience the true wonders of nature. And I'm proud to continue their legacy to this day. The camp's lodge has stood proud since we first opened our gates. This legacy, and indeed the lodge itself, is now at risk. Having sought advice from a structural engineer, it appears crucial repair work is required on the masonry of the chimney column. Huh. Okay. Why is that significant? Don't worry, your children are not in danger, but I must inform you that as of next year, we will be increasing camp fees by 5% per attendee. When times get tough, I am reminded of our camp motto. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. That really is this game's theme, isn't it? With this in mind, I hope that together we can make Hackett's Quarry stronger than ever. Especially if everyone were to turn into werewolves. <laughs> Thank you for your continued patronage. Yours with gratitude, Chris Hackett. Interesting uh, letter there. Looks like that's the only thing in here for me. There's a third form to this place. This is a big lodge. Like a really big lodge. Oh, hello. The High Priestess. Hey, 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 hey. The High Priestess. That, that looks to be the last one. Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. I was thinking that was the case. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's Quarry ever since. And she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. I'd say that was quite clear with how she's been going on and on about... Uh, about how sh she wants us to take care of the family that wronged her. The people who wronged her. And by the sounds of it, that seems to be the Hackett family. So, th this... This really does seem to be a case of the Hackett family being cursed. Cursed in the sense of them being werewolves. At least, at least Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. 
It's like all the rest of them apparently aren't. Only the three of them. So it's like, wh why is only h half of them cursed? Well, I say that, but then again, the whole family is cursed in that respect. I mean, once Silas bit once Silas bit Caleb, that just that just made a domino effect into the Hackett's life. And I feel for them in that respect. It's like it destroyed their family. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night. Yeah, as like premonitions uh, and or, or as premonitions as as like kind of like this game's version of Until Dawn's Totems. Uh, though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Yeah, it's like she she seems to be out for blood. I mean, she she wants r not just revenge, but retribution. It's like she she wants she wants judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. It's like, I feel like this card says it all. Uh, this one, as well as justice. It's like judgment and justice. She wants those as well as revenge and retribution. It's like so many complex feelings going on here, I feel, with Eliza. Guess that was the only thing up here for me, was the tarot card. Unless there's something else. I feel like this would be a good vantage point, like way up here. I mean, I'm supposed to find a good vantage point, as per my objective here, find a vantage point. Oh, that's right, one of my paths updated. No, no that's tarot cards. That team building updated again. Caitlin has Dylan's company in the lodge. Right, since she didn't die at the scrapyard. Which I'm happy of that. It's like, I really like Caitlyn. I mean, out of all the characters, I'd have to say that she's my favorite. I mean, I do also like Abigail. I, I, t I, I also tend to really like uh, the characters who are, who are like sweet in nature like, and Abigail seems to fit that bill but I also really like Caitlyn as, as I've already pointed out why uh, it, another picture of Chris, Caleb, and Kaylee. I can't pick it up though. I wish I could pick it up to take a closer look. Okay, what's over here? Uh, this room is a little uh, messy. <laughs> yeah, arts and crafts for the kiddos.
a thing to look at in here. <laughs> Another set of stairs. What's in here, though? Oh, like a classroom. Rest in peace, Ian. We hardly knew you. You. Was Ian a sheep? Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, night sight. Sounds about right. We have a camp mascot? But no, we did. But you didn't hear? H hear what? He died before we got to camp. Uh huh. Bummer. Dylan doesn't really seem too broken up about that. <laughs> I mean, granted, it happened before they got here. So. Chalkboard. Chalkboard doodles. <laughs> A memorial to the deceased camp mascot, Ian. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep. Very interesting mascot. <laughs> Though nobody got to meet him this year. Wait. The bloodied collar. Ian, why would why would a sheep have a collar? That's kind of weird if you ask me. <laughs> It's like, you'd think that it would be a dog, because dog, because it's more like a dog collar. Then again, now that I think about it, the dog collar is kind of large. I mean, I say dog, dog collar, but I guess it's a sheep's collar in this respect. I mean, it is rather big, you know, in circumference. So... Yeah. Campers never knew how Chris killed and ate the camp mascot. In fact, they didn't know a lot about camp leader Chris Hackett. They do now. It, well... At least Ryan and Laura know. Right? Not so much uh, Dylan and Caitlin here. Interesting clue. It's funny that a sheep was the mascot for the camp. A sheep of all things. <laughs> oh my god. I just realized. The cl the the camp mascot is a sheep. We're dealing with werewolves. Wolves. This all of a sudden got very cheeky. The boy who cried wolf. Anyone? <laughs> oh my god! Oh, bl bloody collar. Here we go. I got the second one. Ian was a sheep, the camp ma mascot. Something slotted him down in the storm shelter. Which seems to be Chris. What do we have here? What's this? Real cam footage. It's like they're looking for something. Can we look at it? Yeah, uh, in Chris's surveillance room. Yeah, that's what I was He's thinking. Storing all the footage. I think you might be right. Maybe we can look at it in the surveillance room. Archived trail cam footage from Hackett Woods dating back six years. So the the fire 
at the gypsy camp. The the trail cam footage of that is on there. Isn't it? Oh my god. Everything's coming together. Oh, mirror. Kinda kinda cracked. We have got got to look at this trail cam footage. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Careful with that, that's a camp relic. <laughs> Relax, it's dead anyway. Ah, uh, R.I.P. Megaphone. <laughs> it's like, although it did squawk, so I, I guess that was its uh, last breath. <laughs> Ring? Where have I seen this emblem before? Scribe jewelry. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals to belong to Bobby Hackett. Interesting that Bobby wore a ring. What is it? A ring with a crest on it. Oh, ah, very fancy. You can never pull it off. Sorry. Hmm. Interesting clue. Why is that significant? Why is it significant to know that Bobby wore a ring? It isn't the isn't Chris's office behind this door? Why can't I go through? Then again, I am supposed to look for a vantage point. So maybe we maybe we can look at the footage later. Okay, well, I looked all around. I, I I don't think I missed anything in here. So, prepare for attack. Every dusk and dawn all through the summer. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. Fuck mates for life, we're proud to say. say. Shout it shout and shout out loud. We're hacketeers. Hmm. Two months and you never learn the words? <laughs> it's like trying to Psych yourself up. Oh boy. The werewolf gonna come down Shut to down the, the chimney. Yippee ki yay. If it's gonna come down through the chimney, it's like. It's like it's what definitely not going to be no there? Santa Claus. Should we go find the others? No, no. We're safer in here, and it's nearly morning. Whoa! What the? Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Can just break through a stone chimney. Uh, runner, wait. Uh, I'm not sure. Run. I mean, I want to say run. Run. That's true. Okay, okay, let's go. 
The office door's locked from the outside. Well, there must be something we can well, do. Yeah, but oh. what? Slow it down a little bit. Silver shells. If we can time it right, we can give them to her. She passes. If she passes. That's a big if. That's a big if. Beam or window? Uh. Beam. I don't want Caitlyn to fall to her death. Come on. Oh God! Oh, okay. Uh, 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 I'm on the edge of my seat. Oh God, he's following me. Ah! Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Uh, run or hide. Oh god. Okay. Uh. Just objective. Survive. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, run or hide. Run or hide. Um. Uh. Run? Run? I'm not sure. Uh. Run or hide. I haven't done much hiding. Run. Run. Just run. <laughs> Caitlin, this way. Caitlin, Caitlin, over here, Caitlin. <laughs> Is that really such a? Excuse me. Well. Give me a minute here. Over here, Caitlin! So I'm terribly sorry about that. I am not entirely sure what caused that to happen. I mean, I tried a couple of things. They didn't work. So I just ejected the disc and put it back in. So hopefully, hopefully we're good. You don't have time for that, come on. Say, like, come on, Dylan. And of course I would have a decision here. Investigate. It's silver! Hey, I'm here! Yes, gimme, give gimme, give gimme! Give oh god! A 
was trying to get him in my sights. No! Caitlin! Oh my god. Ugh. No. Uh, what? I thought he wasn't close enough for me to kill, so I was trying to wait until he got a little closer, but I... God dang it. Damn! Kayla? That hurt. That really hurt me. What exactly happened six years ago? How did you do it? How did you do it? I'm not entirely sure what she... Uh, what... What the line of questioning here is about with that. What happened six years ago? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. Which I've just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Ryan? I uh, did the grab gun. He's on the roof! I can't reach the gun! Forget that! Just get it out! Just get down? Uh, take, I mean, since she can't quite grab the gun, I guess take cover? Uh, my, uh one of my pads updated. Caitlin decided to investigate the office door. Kate, Caitlin failed to kill Caleb with the silver shell. <laughs> uh. Take cover, I guess. <laughs> That did something. <laughs> Run him over, yeah. Where did he go? He kind of just disappeared. 
has got to be nearby. Let's we'll look slow around. Him down Are a little crazy? bit. Crazy. Let's look around. Are you so sure about that, Ryan? Are you okay? Are we there yet? Uh! You're okay. Been better, but yeah. Hit his head. Over here. Got some blood. Leads through there. It, is Laura wearing like uh one of Constance's like uh <laughs> dresses? Laura, Travis, and Ryan run Silas down after he attacked the car. I mean, it kind of worked. <laughs> what the hell happened back here? Whoa. This is where we went off the road two months ago. Oh. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. Go ahead. If that's what you want, I won't stop you. What? No. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. It's werewolves' blood that they put on their uh, on them. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, that's that's interesting. So, what werewolves' blood? If you slather it all over your face and body, you'll have the scent of a werewolf on you. And the werewolves won't attack you? Is that it? That's... That is actually really interesting. A really interesting direction for the werewolf mythos. We could be killed. You ready to end this? <laughs> Let's fecking do this, or this isn't the end. I mean, it's not quite the end, no, but let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Go team. Damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast Shit. didn't do it justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Eliza? Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible. Who are you talking about? I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Vorez. Silas's mother. I think. Eliza Vorez. Hmm. 
I think, or who was she? Well, of course, they don't know. Who was she? Who was she? <laughs> she ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Some say she never left. The hag of Hackett's quarry. Mm. We've been looking for Silas ever since. It's like she has unfinished business. It's like if she's a ghost, she has unfinished business. The ghost stories were true. The ghost of Eliza, the hag of Hackett's quarry, has wandered these woods for six years looking for her lost baby boy. I mean, how how did her son become a wolf boy? I mean, was he born that way? Or was or was he bitten by a wolf? How did the fire start? Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. She was a All werewolf. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. That's why you've been hunting him. We could just kill Caleb. That's why you've been hunting him. That's why you've been hunting him. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. <laughs> no time for that right now, Laura. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? I kind of wish I hadn't. Mm. Same. What is it? Silas, the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. I hear you. Fucking Jesus Christ.
What's wrong? What are you waiting for? Shoot, you stupid girl! Choose Silas's fate. Um... So... I'm... Of course, this is a big decision. So... Ah, oh, man. Broken cage. Silas the wolf boy. He never left the woods, spending his days and nights living feral, nesting in his old cage, and evading the wrath of the Hackets. And they're out for blood. They, they've been out for blood. Which is understandable. Kaylee, Kaylee and Caleb started the fire, meant as a distraction to free Silas the wolf boy, whom they pitied. That's how this all started. Ah, oh, man. All Kaylee wanted to do was help. But they went about it in the worst way possible. Starting a fire? This is all Silas's fault. But... It's not entirely his fault. I mean, he didn't, he didn't ask to be, um, to be set free. At least that's what it seems like, anyway. I really wonder what would happen if I don't raise my gun. Call me crazy here, but I'm not gonna raise the gun. Laura! Do it. He's just a boy! He's responsible for so much death. Says you! Do it! No! Give me the gun. No. Thank you very much. I should have killed you when I had the chance. Wow. How do you like that, Travis? Oh. Oh my god. Oh, beheaded, and then just face ripped to shreds. My God! <laughs> Thought you were clever, didn't you? I knew my boy would be okay with me watching over him. I'll never forget what you tried to do. I've been with you all night, you know. And I'm not about to stop just because the nights come to an end, no. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now, I'll never leave you. Hmm. I'll never leave you. Okay, that's a tad creepy. <laughs> I'll never leave you. Oh, well, chapter 10 done. And it's now daylight. So the only ones left alive are Dylan, Emma, and Abigail. Oh, and Bobby and Jedediah. But I don't know if I should really count them. 
Oh, and Max. Cure to the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris Hackett with the silver shell. Uninjured Bobby was able to fend off an attack from Chris, his brother, in werewolf form. Thanks to Bobby fending off the werewolf, Chris, Jed survived the attack at Hackett House. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor, Ryan, shot him with silver. Laura shot Constance's face off in a struggle for the gun. Oh, man. That was something. Jacob was killed by a werewolf, Nick... A werewolf Nick after Ryan... Oh, that was Nick in the cage! Oh, and that was Kaylee's body on the table! Nick's still infected. Nick survived the full moon. I'm a slow reader. So... Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Emma survived the night in the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. Which I probably should have done. Caitlin was killed by Caleb when she failed to shoot him. <laughs> that hurt me the most. Oh! Having survived another full moon, Caleb Hackett returned to his human form. They actually got to see him in his human form. Travis launched at Laura when she missed her chance to shoot Silas and the gun went off in the scuffle, killing Travis. When Laura failed to shoot Silas, Ryan was killed in an instant. Laura was killed when she failed to shoot Silas and end the curse. Damn. Summer camp tragedy. Freak bear attack leaves several dead. What do you make of that, Anton? I love that term, several. Like, the detectives are just, they, they don't even count the bodies. They're not like one, two. What do I think? <laughs> well, I, I don't, honestly, I don't know what to think. I mean, she asked me. I, I don't know what to think. <laughs> They're like, one, two, three, yeah, you know what, it's several, several murders. You know, it might be a tactic, though. They can't give out that information yet. Sometimes detectives are notoriously difficult to solicit information from, especially when you go in saying, hi, I'm a paranormal expert. I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not this Hackett's Quarry thing. What was this, like three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton, introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the too. possibility of supernatural involvement in real-life, everyday occurrences. And that's exactly what they are, real-life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <laughs> okay, so... I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm about to blow your mind. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes, it's responsible I don't wear many to hats. insure those things which mean the most to you. A hat. Yes. Okay, I know where your priorities lie. Go on. Anyway, there actually is a real reason that we're coming back to Hackett's Quarry. There have been some developments, and I've sourced some information. I remain skeptical, but I'm all ears. Under my hat. I was hoping you'd say that. Oh god, why? Why are you smiling? Stop it, I hate it. Why? I have braces, <laughs> I have to make use of them sometimes. You do have very pretty teeth. Thank you. That's something that a lot of podcast listeners might not know about me. <clears throat> so, <laughs> it just so happens I've got someone on the inside. So today's episode is going to have a bit of a show and tell vibe to it. Who do you know on the inside? The inside of where? What? You know someone on the inside? Don't we all have someone on the inside? You know, an inner critic that mm. says, stop doing a podcast, no one's listening. You should listen to that voice, Grace. Okay, well, what I really meant is, let's call it an anonymous donation. You know, we're not the only ones who flagged this as a bizarre situation. Someone actually reached out to us. They sent us a package. 
Did you, you didn't open it. Anyone who, I don't trust anyone who listens to this show. Oh, I couldn't wait to open it. Surprise! Anonymous donation. Okay, you've always promised me since day one of this podcast that if you could see true evidence, you will consider all options, right? Did you not say that? I did say that, yes. I mean, I know you- Knowing for a fact that we would never see any evidence, I did say that. Okay, well, we've been sent information and we need to decide whether it's bizarre or bona fide. (sighs) Okay, fine, let's do this. For anyone listening at home, we are about to open a package from a mysterious person who listens to this show. If you are the one who sent us whatever it is, congrats, you got us. Sorry, the tape is just really- Really? There's just so much tape on the package. Sorry, can you help me with this? Do you have like a key I could like slice at it with? No, I don't want you to dull my key. Just use your fingers. But just give me your fucking <laughs> key, Anton. No. Give me your fucking key. No. No. Get your own key. It's not like you lock your door. Of course I lock my door. What are you what are you hiding? What am I hiding? Do you not lock your doors? No, I have nothing to hide. You think that ghosts are real, but you don't lock your doors? No, ghosts couldn't open my doors. They could walk through my walls, Anton. Okay, you need to be more concerned with murderers. <laughs> so, remember those missing hikers? Yeah. What if I showed you leaked photos from one of their cameras? Photos that show them at Hackett's Quarry, supposedly where the camera was found. I would think that maybe they went there and they dropped their camera. Okay, Anton, let me ask you real quick. What makes you drop your camera? Uh, tripping over a root, um, being jostled, uh... In uneven uh, row of cobblestones. What about being murdered? If you dropped your phone, you wouldn't go missing. Where are they now? I don't know. People get lost in the woods all the time. There's like hundreds of people a year. They could be anywhere. That's not That's all. That's true. No? Mm-mm. I'm about to lay a little something else on you. My sources also tell me that their backpacks were found at the summer camp. Really? Then, okay, well then, shouldn't this be public knowledge? Why aren't the Hackett's prime suspects? Exactly my point. Maybe they would be if anyone knew where they were. Is it all just a big cover-up operation? Yeah, that's where it falls apart a bit, in my opinion. So, we've got to talk a little more about the Hackett family. Right, so these guys are like the heritage landowners, right? Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm-hmm. Yep. Their great-great-great-grandparents were trappers who claimed the land way back when. They just claimed it? Yes, they did. They put their flag on it just like the man on the moon. The Hackett family flag, right. Well, apparently when they claimed it, they found quartzite. Quartzite? Okay, I was hoping you would ask. Fun fact, every building in the whole of New York is made of quartzite. Quartzite. That's not fun or a fact. Most of them are. But I digest. Digress? It was a pun. They dug the quarry and hit the, great that was heights a bad of success part. before Septimus Hackett, classic bad guy name, the seventh son of the trappers, the number seven, has great supernatural powers, uh-huh. closed the mine down. Okay, so then they only had the land to live off. Yes, you say only, but this land actually spans acres. That's a lot of forest. A lot of unexplored darkness. Ooh, okay, a great place to hide, to have all these dark secrets for this strange, reclusive family. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start to get a little more into paranormal territory. Okay, here we go. Acres and acres of haunted woods. If you say so. This is a rather interesting podcast. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we actually got to hear the we, we actually got to hear the jingle for the peanut butter butter pops welcome <laughs> to bizarre yet bona fide the podcast of the paranormal welcome back to bizarre yet bona fide anton today i'm actually yes? going to pass you some light writing okay you're gonna make me read this mm-hmm 
All right, um, this is... What you're seeing now is a copy of a letter that Kaylee Hackett wrote to her grandma. Allegedly. <sighs> All right, uh, this seems like more of a you job, but I suppose right, I can read I, this. Right, but I feel like if some of the evidence comes from your mouth, it will have more clout. Right, okay, here well, we thank go. thank you. Gammy, how long are we gonna drag this shit out? Mm. I know family is the most important thing. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Gammy? What kind of a nickname is that for grandma? Gammy? <laughs> what an odd nickname. But I want to know what's outside the forest, outside this damn house and camp, and I sure as hell know that ain't about to happen because of who we are. Maybe we can explain what's going on. Fucking show people. Then they'll know we got no control over it. I know you just trying to protect us, but one day you won't be here no more, and right now it feels like we stuck in a dark hole. I can't sleep, Gammy, or if I do, I dream about that fucking fire. We were just dumbass kids back then. I wish it never happened. Love, K, X, O, X, O. That took a turn. Yes. Oh. Dream about that fucking fire. Does that not read as the haunted scribblings of someone who saw something that they shouldn't have seen? Yeah. Oh. Everything performed by Siobhan Williams. I noticed during the credits, Siobhan plays Laura. Well, I just found out that she can also uh, she's also a singer, so that's cool. No, I'm fully creeped out. She was clearly going through some stuff. And this is legit? I mean, I don't know why someone would fake it. Then again, I can't verify any of this. So, you've got to suspend your disbelief slightly. Man, this poor girl. Yeah, there was something going on, something eating away at her. And that's what I want to explore. Okay, well, consider my disbelief suspended. For now. Next, we have this empty vial thing. Okay, the way you say empty vial makes me think that there was something creepy in there before. Well, it's not half full, you little optimist, okay? Uh, We've got a photo from whoever my supernatural fairy godmother may be, but what are your initial thoughts? Your godmother sends you vials full of this, I mean, it looks like there could have been blood in here. My fairy godmother, not my actual godmother. She's estranged. My God, what did she do? It's actually what I did. But the important thing is, look at this vial and tell me it does not scream nefarious ritual. Yeah, I mean, it seems like it could have had blood in it. Yeah, something about this doesn't look like anything normal. Yeah, well, it's a vial full of fucking blood. Okay, Anton, what you see next pretty much confirms it. That you're a crackpot conspiracy theorist a loser? Shit went down at Hackett's Quarry this summer. Real <laughs> supernatch shit. See, you always say things like this and you're always overselling it. You always have to oversell something to even sell it. That's capitalism, baby. All right. Okay, if you say so. this is actual footage from one of the trail cams in Hackett Woods. Oh, cool, a oh, camera in the middle of the woods? Did they find a squirrel? Be honest, if it was mounted on a mountain bike, you would watch that whole video. Yes, of course. Is there a mountain bike involved? No, but take a look anyways. Okay. That is a bear? That is a bear to you? There is no way that is a bear. Okay, well, it uh, a skinny bear? Okay, it's this not could be a some bear. of the clearest footage of something like this I've ever seen. Right, it's kind of blurry, though. Blurry and convincing. Sometimes... The truth can't be contained within the lines. Right, yeah. And also, footage is pretty easy to fake. Technology is super scary. Yeah, but what the hell were the Hackett's doing with footage like this anyways? Huh, yeah, that's a good point. Weird little video of a skinny bear. Yeah, it's I don't know. not a bear! Again, you keep saying a skinny bear. Have you seen a skinny bear? Yes, that's Bears very sad. Huge. Oh. Yeah, polar bears, it's hard for them to find food sometimes. Don't feel too bad for them, though. They're nasty. 
Okay, but putting the Hackett family aside for a moment, there's more to this. Are you ready for some real spooky shit? I'm ready for real spooky shit. I don't know if you can provide it, but please try. <laughs> don't get too freaked out. I'll try my hardest. Okay, do you want to hold my hand? No. Okay, <laughs> do you need someone to comfortingly pat your back? Please just say what you're gonna say. Do you want me to turn all the lights on so you don't- I don't want you scared? to do anything. I want you to say what you have. How patronizing. Okay, so what's this? What are we looking at now? A photo by one of the counselors, Emma Mountebank, downloaded from her phone. Oh my God, is this real? Well, <laughs> that is what we're here to discuss. Okay, this looks shopped. I mean, doesn't it? Okay, but w it's if you not, downloaded though. photos from my phone, yes, they would all be shopped as well. There would be a filter on it to make my eyes look big and cheeks look pink. But I don't even think that has even any of those filters. Look at the eyes and tell me that's not real danger. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, weird, bizarre, yet bona fide. What the hell happened? More than we are being <laughs> told. Yeah. There's something else too. Okay. <sighs> Look at what happens when I put it through a negative filter. Whoa. Okay, what is that? It's her. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry! See? Full circle! God, uh, no, 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 no. That could be anything. Like what? Please, try to explain I, I don't what know that... what's that thing. There's this thing that makes your mind. You see faces and stuff. There's people... There, there's... Jesus shows up on toast every once in a while. This could be whatever. Well, I don't... Wait, wait, wait. Put it in... She put it through a negative filter and saw the Hag of... Hackett's quarry? What? Is Eliza a werewolf too? I mean, that would make a lot of sense. With Silas being a wolf boy. Oh boy. Huh. Who's the father? And what happened to the father, for that matter? Need to hear too much more about your breakfast, but I can't believe that you're still questioning this. You're doubting your own cynicism now, though, I can tell. I can smell the doubt that you usually apply to other things on yourself. Picks or didn't happen, right? Well, picks, so did happen. No, picks you can fabricate, experiences you can't. I need to, I, I would need to see the Hag of Hackett's Quarry myself. Well, if you want to go to North Kill with me, no, I actually have a really I don't. good okay. relationship. I believe you. Okay, but you know what? I have something that couldn't be fabricated. Claw marks in a wall. I, I could make this right now. Really? Just fi find me a wall, I'll take a fork and just go to town. What an artisan. Thanks. <laughs> well, to me, this isn't actually overtly supernatural because it could have just been, you know, an animal or someone's angry parrot, but it'd be unfair not to discuss. Why? Parrot? Because the audience has come to expect a certain length of the podcast, so we actually have to sometimes do a little bit of filler. Yeah, that's true. We don't have much to talk about. Well, whoever did reach out, thought it was worth sharing. There's a chance this is all just a prank, you know? It was just a prank, Anton! Who even are you? It's probably just some teenager who's making fun of you. It's probably that dude who came on and gave us a one-star review. I would love to tell you that that's implausible, but a teenager making fun of me is probably the most familiar experience of my life. Moving on! How about this? Tell me this isn't freaky as shit. Oh! Is that skin? Skin. Fur. Whatever you want to call it, really. Okay, it looks human. Is that a tattoo? I don't think so. Or maybe a really bad one. Wait. Is it? Apparently, this belongs to whatever creature supposedly caused all this. Okay, do we have the actual thing? Did they capture it? Can I... Can I see it in the uh, in its weird flesh, so to speak? You want to touch the flesh. I want to touch the flesh. Well, 
Fortunately, the person who sent this to me was smart enough to know that it would be dangerous to steal the actual evidence, not to mention they might suspect that you, Anton, would hide it away so as to sabotage this legitimate investigation. Right. I, I am known that. for destroying evidence. Convenient that we can't see the real deal, huh? Come on, man, you're desperate not to believe. If there's reasonable doubt, you have to assume it's not real, Occam's Razor. But look at everything we've seen. Put it all together, objectively. Okay. You know what? It's weird. I'll give you that. Oh my god. I just said it was weird. Don't make a big deal out of it. Oh my god, I've done it. You haven't done anything. I said it was weird. I've done it. I've <gasps> turned you. You're... I've converted you to my side. You're a believer now, right? I will never be on your side. I won. I'm I a believer. Won. You did not win. This I mean, is look. a contest and I have prevailed. You have not. Look, I just mean I can see it. The lack of details in the news report and this stuff. Uh, I don't know. Whatever it means, there's merit to the idea that something strange went down. Strange. Interesting word choice. So, what are you saying? Shut up. Come on. No. Give me what I I'm want. I'm not giving here. you anything. You've practically given it. Just give me the succinct sound bite I so desperately long for. Okay, I never agreed to this title, but I would agree that for the first time ever, this case could well be bizarre yet bona fide. Ah! This is the best day of my life. And that's sad. Why? Is it not yours? No. So what now? Well, we gotta send this stuff to the police. They can decide whether it's useful or not. I just wish we could know more. I wish we could just look into a crystal ball and see how it all played out. Yeah, but what fun would that be? Funny how sure you see we it could say that. But we weren't there. We didn't go through what these kids went through. There's no way we'll ever really know what truly went down at Hackett's Quarry. Um, Why don't you go who there the then? Fuck even are you? I'm being genuine. That was beautiful. Thank you. You just launched into precisely the kind of content I've been trying to make. It's just the first time we've had a coherent thought on this podcast. Is that it? That, it, that went on for a while. <laughs> oh, man. Well. This... This was quite a game. And I really, really enjoyed it. This is a really long credits sequence. Then again, that was a quite a long podcast. <laughs> uh, oh man. Well... I gotta say, with my decisions, I want to say that my de uh, my decisions weren't like the best de decisions to make, but yet I I'm kind of grooving to this music here, um, but I, I feel like with my decisions that. I was on the more, like, on the lower end of the scale with some of these decisions and what to do. I mean, choosing not to, s to shoot Silas and to shoot Travis instead. Or just a wolf boy? <laughs> this is a song. But, I mean, I, I feel like my decisions were kind of off, kind of off the wall and different. Than other people's, I I don't know. I mean, I I haven't looked at any. Uh, any I haven't looked at anything about this game, and I haven't looked at anyone else playing the game. I mean, I 
I want to experience the game for myself, of course, before looking into other people's playthroughs of it. But I, I really did enjoy this game. So, uh, so all in all, with this game, I feel that I could have done better with trying to decide what to do. I mean, granted, this is this was my first time playing through it, so I mean, my decisions were more of, like, for curiosity's sake, I feel, in what would happen. <laughs> I mean, especially with the choice to shoot Silas or not. And I feel like I'm on the lower end of the spectrum of choosing not to shoot him. And shooting Travis instead. <laughs> I mean, it. it is what it is. I mean, I... I did promise at the start of this LP that I would go through movie mode to check out, you know, some of the more gruesome deaths because with the DLC, the deaths are supposed to be even more brutal and gory, apparently, and that I would react to those. I mean, some of these deaths were pretty brutal and, and gory in just the base form of their deaths. So it makes me really wonder what their deaths are going to be like in movie mode with the DLC. So it, I mean, I'll, I'll definitely check them out. I'll make sure to re record my reactions. And I just, I may just also, for um, for just kind of completionist sake, I guess, try to actually keep everyone alive and uh, see if anything is different at the end. Probably not, but I at least want to like check it out. And if anything is different, I'll show it. But if it's not really different, then you know I'll I'll just kind of bring it up in kind of like a little post game kind of moment. So I guess to wrap things up, you know, I super enjoyed this game. I mean, once I once I figured out and learned that werewolves were involved, you know, I was so excited to delve even deeper into this game. And I just loved that aspect. Werewolves. It's a, I've been obsessed with werewolves ever since I was a kid. And it has been with me my whole life. So, I mean, I've watched so many different werewolf movies, old and new, and I, I enjoy, I've enjoyed every single one of those werewolf movies, whether they be good or bad. <laughs> so, with, with this game, this game was awesome in the res in the aspect of it revolving around werewolves. Absolutely love that. The characters, the characters. Uh, okay, I um really bummed out that I got Caitlyn and Jacob killed. Especially Caitlyn, because I I really do like her. But I feel like I could, like, with, like, Emma, I feel like I could... Uh, I don't know, like... Go either way with her. I mean... 
she she's not like overly annoying i thought she would be at first but yeah she's actually kind of quirky and kind of funny <laughs> um and you know jacob i also wound up liking e even though that i got him killed kind of early uh so i didn't really get to see him fleshed out a little more. So maybe in another playthrough I can see what he's like more, maybe. <laughs> Ryan, like I said, I feel like he was in the background for quite a while before he really stepped forward to become a leader. Um, Let's see, Abigail... Sweet, nice girl who kind of got a rough go with the boy she likes, Nick, being turned into a werewolf. So it's like, I, I feel bad for her in that respect, seeing that, you know, she really likes Nick and him, him turning. It's like, that... That would definitely be like a shock to the system, I feel. The person you really like or love turning into a monster. And especially if the like the feelings are reciprocated. Yeah, having those feelings like ripped away from you and having that person change so drastically like Nick did and becoming a werewolf it's like I I felt sorry for Abigail it's like she she's a sweet girl and then with Nick I, I feel like he really got the short end of the stick in this game I mean especially like early on I mean he gets bitten and he and he starts turning, so it's like, we don't really get to experience much with him, you know, as him, so, you know, playing as him, that is. So, I feel like not a lot of character development happened with him, which is honestly a shame, because I wanted to learn more about him, but seeing that he you know turns we don't really get a chance to really know him so i i don't i don't know it's like if he if he doesn't get bitten if there's a way for him not to get bitten will would we actually find out more about him like, i really wonder that I mean, maybe, I mean, only another playthrough or two would, uh, would answer my question about that. Maybe. It's like, or maybe he's just always fated to, uh, become infected. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's my assessment of the characters. Um, oh, and uh, of course I'm completely forgetting about Laura. It's like, Laura, she really turned into, like, kind of a badass character. I mean, she's she's very smart, like, uh, K uh, like Caitlyn, and very resourceful. So it's like, I also really wound up liking her. It's like, I, I tend to really like the fem female characters in uh, in any given, like, horror game. It was also like that with, like, Man of Me Dan. It's like, I, I really wound up liking uh, Fliss in that game. Uh, of course, it's a huge horror trope for there to be uh, strong female characters and Laura was definitely that uh, let's see Max 
I also feel like he got the short end of the stick as well. I mean, we only get to play as him very, very briefly towards the end here. I th I thought we would... I thought we weren't gonna get any chance to control him at all. But, lo and behold, we actually did. Which was honestly kind of surprising. It's like, I... Then again, it's like for the for the majority of the game, he's you know locked in a locked in a cell, and he becomes a werewolf. So it's like, when would we actually get the chance to actually control him? I mean, like I said, it would be, like I said before, it would be really cool if we could like control like uh, Nick as a werewolf. I, f I feel that same way about Max. It's like controlling either of them as werewolves. That would be sick. <laughs> but anyway, I think my assessment of the game has gone on long enough. So I will stop it here. I just as kind of a disclaimer, I don't know how long it'll take for me to go through the game again to uh, you know, to record my reactions in movie mode for the more brutal deaths. But I will get that out at some point. So be, be on the lookout for that eventually. It's like I'll 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 definitely work on it. It it may take me like maybe maybe a week, maybe two. I'm not entirely sure. I mean, it it will take me however long it takes me. I mean, I am working on two other let's plays right now, so there is that. So juggling my two other let's plays and playing through and recording my reactions to the more brutal deaths in movie mode, that may take quite a bit of time. So, I but I do promise that I will get that video out eventually. H however long that may be. I'm, like I said, I'm not sure how long it'll take me. So, anyway, with that, I'll finally end things here. So, I hope you all enjoyed watching this series. I certainly had a lot of fun playing through this. Even though that I got most of everyone killed, I did enjoy playing through this game very much. And thank you all for watching as well. And if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, like, comment, and claw that subscribe button to become part of the pack. And as always everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you may be.